kind of like the states of matter. Data has states associated with it too. There are three states of data. Data in motion, data at rest, and data in use. Understanding the differences between these states can help organizations handle sensitive information more securely. Data at rest refers to information that has reached its destination and is not in use, like backup or cloud storage. Data in use refers to information that's currently being accessed or processed, like an open Word document or PDF. And data in motion is data being transported between locations, like email attachments or Wi-Fi networks. Learn more about how to secure data in each of these states in the link above or in the description below. Data in motion, also called data in transit, is digital information in the process of being transported between locations, within or across computer systems. Data in motion typically refers to data that moves from a device to a web-facing service in the cloud, between virtual machines or cloud services, between private networks and untrusted networks, and between different applications. Once the data arrives at its intended destination, it becomes data at rest. Data in motion is an important concept for businesses in regard to data protection and keeping up to date with regulatory guidelines like GDPR. It's massively important to protect data in motion since that information can be intercepted, stolen, or leaked if not secured prior to being sent. To prevent attacks, data is often encrypted. Data in motion is normally encrypted using secure sockets layer and transport layer security protocols, both of which help encrypt HTTPS. IPsec security is also used as a transit encryption protocol for VPN tunnels, for example. How much importance does your organization put on securing data in motion? What else can you do to protect data in motion? Let us know in the comments down below and remember to like and subscribe.